Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm doing a little voiceover because I'm not sure what I was talking about at the start of this recording, but let me make it clear for you guys. Today we're playing three scary games and, and I like that's that's all I have to say. Cause because at the start of this video I didn't know I was gonna be playing three scary games. But after seeing how short this first one was, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm about to do two more. So here we are. Hope you enjoy it. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Uh, I'll be honest, I, I don't know too much about this game. I just saw it look quite interesting. So I just got it. So Oh my, it's kind of loud, no? A bite-sized game by o Octavi Navarro. Well, shout out to that person right there. Psst, Miss Appleton, wake up. But who's speaking right now? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, she didn't even have no bones there. Things were much easier before, weren't they? There's no time to rest. Look at the time. I do gotta say. I do gotta say, I'm a, I'm a, I got a bit of a cold right now, yeah? If you hear me sniffling, you know, <coughs> or making coughing noises, I'm sorry, I can't do nothing about that. <coughs> Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Okay, so are we like, are we like a cook? Are we cooking? What's that? Oh, menu, okay. No! Bro, usually when you got a menu, you put the resume game at the top. Alright, let's look at the special sauce real quick. Solid wax. Right, let's see what this dining room is saying then. Oh my. So we need candle. Light the candle. I know it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Alright, we'll just keep, we keep it going, I guess. We should talk about some customers earlier. So, uh, what, are we like... So I'm assuming this is some type of, like, restaurant, no? Oh, freak. Wow, outside. The joyous lobster in. The best place in town for a snack. Oh, this is where we work. Yo, it's a ship! Damn, this, what in the One Piece reference is this? Fisherman. I'm not trying to hang out with your friends, Miss Appleton. Fisherman, are you good? Alright, let's, I mean, let's keep going left, I guess. I mean, what do you mean? Why are you shrugging? But you push, you pull the lever. Let's go jail door. Can't pull the lever. I can't go to the, I can't go to the jail door. Hard enough with a pigeon. Hard enough with a sign. Hard enough with a wooden car. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pick up the fire tongs. Oh, okay, there we go. Pick up the... Brother, use the fire tongs. Pick up the embers. Okay, 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 okay. I get it now, guys. I get it now. Use the fire tongs. Light the candles. There we go. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Okay. <coughs> Makes it sound a bit weird, but you know, I get it is what it is, I guess. Why don't we make our special sauces ready for them? Come on, guys. Get your, get your soup here. Get your soup here. Mmm. Smells delicious. Whoa! Do you like Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. Alright, so we got some. Can't move. We got some customers finally, though. Oh, I can rock with that. Do you think it could be them? Who's them? What the freak? Food. Look, the chest. These men we've been looking for. Whoa! What are we looking for? Let's find my place to sit quickly. So what would your gentlemen like to start with? Uh, I mean, let's go to this old man, I guess. Pigeon a la rosé. Damn, spicy red swordfish. H human hand... What the freak? And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. Spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling. Pigeon for the sick man. And a hand for the, this, this brother here. Come on, Miss Appleton, go fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen wall if you have any problems remembering them. Damn! There's a lot of instruction, guys. I gotta say, I don't usually play games like this where there's just like a lot of talking, there's a lot of yapping, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hold on. Recipes du jour. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. One wild pigeon covered with special sauce. Are we gonna go catch a pigeon or something? Let me grab this pigeon real quick. Can I throw a solid wax in him? I'm not too smart when it comes to these types of games, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I don't usually know what to do. Oh, hold on. So that means we can... Ooh. Oh my... What's going... What? Poor old Pete. I knew he'd lose his head up sooner or later. Well, I'm so confused. Fish pole. Let me grab that. Ooh, that's a wet boot. Thanks. That was very confusing, guys, to be honest. You know, like I was saying, I don't usually play games where, like, very puzzle-oriented. Sorry. You say sorry? Oh. Damn, just like that! 
Bro, you pack the pigeon just like that, just like that. Blue pigeon special sauce. That's it. That's kind of gross, guys, I'll be honest. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Oh. Damn. Are you good? Oh. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Oh, the name of the game. They don't notice he stopped breathing. Oh. Freak. Okay, he dropped some scissors, though. So I guess the point in the game is we're cooking food to then kill the man. Now we're on the spicy red swordfish. One blue swordfish tail, add one chili pepper, cover with special sauce. So, rusty scissors. Are you kidding, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. One thing I do remember is there was rope on the ship. Maybe we can uh, cut the rope with the scissors, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> huh? Did he just flush? He just flies me! <laughs> Alright, let's go to the left captain's cabin. Oh! Oh no. I don't. F hmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood? Hello? What do you mean, taste his blood? Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMur. Mc Looks like you won't be beating anyone. Oh, I didn't. I, can't, I didn't see what it said there. I did not see what it said there, I'll be honest. Alright, let's keep. I don't want to go downstairs just yet. Oh, what, what, uh, what, what? It's completely parched. Sound okay, 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 okay. About to do some high IQ movements right here. I remember inside the tavern, there's a cup. We bring the cup to the puddle. Put the cup in the puddle. Get the water. Put the water on the chili. Bosh. There we go. Uh, I know. I knew I was intelligent like that. Let's grab that real quick. Yeah, it's gross. Gross, but that'll do. It's on the seedling. Yes, sir. Red hot chili peppers. This used to be this app, right? That I used to play when I was, was like, literally just a little boy, right? And it used to be called Cooking Fever. If you guys ever played that game called Cooking Fever, you'll know that game is was used to be peak, bro. It used to be peak, I tell you. What do we do? Oh, oh we put wax in the pot. Boiling wax. Oh, so to combine them. Oh, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. All right, let's put this on there. Yeah. Eat that food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. A satisfied stomach. <laughs> this d delicate. What does that even mean? Hand and tongue stew. Damn. Jail the keys to the jail door. Let's go free some prisoners. Skeleton hand. Yeah, that is... Certainly something. Maybe put the hand in the wax. Oh, it looks like a human hand. I see you. I don't want slimy tongue. You don't mind if I grab your friend's tongue, do you? <laughs> Combine that with that special sauce. Yeah. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Munch that, you totodile. Hello. How it tastes. Yeah, packed. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Now let us clear all this mess before the stench gets to the attention of the authorities. Oh, what the freak? What the? Oh my gosh! The ship! Let's, let's grab this wooden cart then. Great idea, Mr. Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Yo ho ho and a bottle of... Oh, here you are. Yeah, nice little sea shanty. I see you. Oh, <laughs> like, this is not discreet at all. We've never used the ground of such large specimens. So let's hope their bones don't get stuck. This is the ground, okay. Oh my freak! Oh my days! Oh, oh no way! Oh my gosh! Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed that digi 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 diligently. Oh my days. What the freak? What the freak is going on? Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. Who is this? Why are you a ghost? What are we doing here? Oh. Oh, backstory. <gasps> I have so many good memories of you and working, and I work by her side. No, is that was that her husband? No way! You're my dearest friend. Oh, I guess, I guess not. <laughs> I guess they're friends, aren't? 
Oh! Oh my freaking gosh. When those beasts dragged me out from the kitchen, I knew I was done for. No way. So those guys that we killed came back. I swear I didn't steal the gold nugget from them. Oh wow. I won it fair and square. So you owed them some money. And then they came up to you. And you're like, yeah, no, I don't got it. There was only one thing I knew for certain. They, wait, they put... Oh, that was the chest they had. They put them in a chest. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. Oh my gosh. And goodbye. Damn. That was under the game. Yes, sir. So Octavie, Navarro. Yo, big shout out to you, man. That was a pretty good game, you know. To be honest, not very scary, but definitely, you know, it's a deeper, deeper game, you know what I'm saying? I have to think about it. It was pretty good, though. I liked it. I liked it. All right. On to game two. Back with a voiceover. Yeah. Game two. Enjoy it. See you later. All right. And we're here with There Is Something In The Woods. This is number two. Uh, let's get let's just get right into it, man. There's something in the woods, okay? You know, I'm, I'm I'm hoping for a real scare this time, yeah. I need to get coffee. I need to get me some coffee. Do a little square in the air to get some spare tears. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rhyming genius. Nice little pixelated horror game. I like it. Oh uh, wait, hold on. Are we with the feds? Oh my! Before we go, we might do a little perimeter check. You know what I'm saying? We. Uh. Talking about perimeter checks here, I'm not... Look, I know police officers, but I don't got my gun on me, okay? I, I, I ain't got no gun button, so I'm not, I'm not about to go in there's uh, I'm not to go in there. Half-smoked, still burning cigarette. That's weird, someone must have left it in a hurry, maybe. But even to this day, I still, like, low-key have a fear of going to, like, petrol stations at night. Because you never know what could happen. You never know what could happen, really. Okay, hello? Hello? Server? Anyone? Cashier? Sorry? Cashier? Anyone here? Ooh, frosted flakes, Lay's chips. Can't they be like sued for this? Like they can't have this in the game, can they? Surely not, right? Oh wait, there is a sprint button, and <laughs> I don't like when the games have sprint because usually when horror games have sprint, we're gonna have to be running away from something, and I and I, I don't mess with that, you guys. Let me grab it. Let me. Hello. Let me grab a coffee. I should go to the counter, pay for it first. Fair enough. Oh, wait. Oh, I just clocked. Damn, there's a lot of missing people here. Hello, I tried to pay for the coffee. Maybe he's in the bathroom or something. Back Bathroom, back room, back rooms. That, that is definitely a good observation, policeman. Okay. Yeah. Um. This bird is dead. <laughs> this guy is dead. Let's be honest. This guy is dead. But why do I have to go like exploring this stuff? I'm just kind of scared. Blood. It looks fresh and there's so much of it. I should investigate this and follow the trail back to the back room. Okay, can I get my gun? I know you got a shotgun in the back. Oh! Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my days. A dead body with no head. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened here? His head was detached with force. Sweet God, what could have done this? I have to find out. I have to find out! I have to go home! I have to go to the car! Yo, back up, back up! There's a dead man in here! You know what I'm saying? No, because, like, why? What? There's Heinz beans here. Can we grab his coffee now? Like, I mean, he's not gonna be here. He's dead, you know. So maybe I can grab his coffee for free, you know? You know, RIP. We'll get. Oh my freaking gosh! What's this? Hey, if you wanna go outside for a smoke or something else, maybe you should go in pairs. Cause I recently heard there were some weird sounds in the woods. They were almost like they're almost human-like, bro. I can't like I, I can't speak today. They were almost human-like. It's probably just wolves or mountain lions, but still, be careful outside, listen to the sounds. Listen to the sounds, that's how, that's the game telling you, yeah, to open your ears and stop talking. Oh, this is, okay, I wonder what would happen, yeah, if we came out here before we got the gun. Ooh, a nice little aim, okay, I see you. Yeah, I'm about to stop. Bro, first thing I see, I'm starting to pop. I'm popping it, first thing. Whoa! The freak, what the freak? What the freak? Do you not have a flashlight, you know, as a police officer? Surely got to be equipped, a shotgun, two bazookas, and a radio, and a flashlight, surely. But I'm kind of nervous, though. Oh, flashlight. Yes, oh, flashlight covered in blood. Is this a flashlight? Can I grab it? Bro, what? <laughs> Yo, I can't lie. <laughs> My heart. My heart. I didn't mean to press the button. No, that shooting scared me so much. Wait, I've run out of ammo. We can't reload. Like, oh, freak. All right. Nice little campsite. Abandoned, though. Could put the fire on. 
Bonfire, canned beans in a pot. Looks like someone was middle of preparing the food. A camping tent. It looks like someone left it in a hurry. I wonder where the others is. You know, I would never go camping. Like, for real. Oh, this is some long freaking text, bro. Putting that aside right now as I'm writing this journal and preparing some beans. I really like these beans. Okay, cool. One thing I will say, though, is that I hate camping. I hate the idea of camping. I could never do it. Let alone going alone. Like, who who does that alone? Like, what, what what's the reason for that? That's dangerous, you know? What if you get lost and then that's it? <laughs> my heart. Ow. That hurt my heart. A dead body with no eyes. No eyes? Oh my day, something tore his stomach. And his eyes are missing. Whether this is not human. What the freak, guys? I'm scared. Oh, oh flashlight. There we go. I, I'm going to be honest. This flashlight is not doing too much for me. I mean, I guess it better, gets better than nothing. Though. I always see like camping is way too scary, bro. Is that another body? Hello? Oh my de- Oh, freak! Bow! Bow! The ship! Oh! Oh, poor guy. Half eaten body. It's half eaten. Poor, poor guy, bro. I'm doing a good job being policeman, yo. I would be a really good federation officer. You gotta say though, this is beautiful though. The sky, like the sunset, like it's beautiful. Like damn, like what, like, but only in like America you get these views, bro. Like over here in the UK, never, never, never. You never see this type of stuff. To the police car. Oh, what the freak? Hello, there's another one. Pull up then. Oh, all right, hey, less then. Did you just get in the car and bro after he just get in the car and dip or something after he heard that scream? Bro, I'll be honest, I'll do the same thing, you know. <laughs> Alright, bro, that was the second game. Okay, I liked it, you know. Nice short, sweet. Scared me a couple times as well, to be honest. But then yeah, bro, that was okay. Game number two done. Let's move on to the next one. Here we are, the third and final game for the video. The part prototype. You guys may have seen this, um You guys may have seen this before. Uh, other youtubers be playing it but this is um quite new to me personally so as you can see bro honestly like with these like oh it's just a bit like it's a bit too real you know what i'm saying like these realistic camcorder games they, they give me the heebie jeebies you know what i'm saying like they're scary all right let's see what we can do around here okay we open this little place up e turn the power on though okay that's quite nice it's quite cool Oh, is that a nice little Glock? I see there. Yes, it is. Evil. Yeah, this place is freaking evil. All right, let's twist this thing. Get the Glock and go. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, bro. It's actually, it's actually dangerous. Pick up the gun. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh freak. This is this this aiming is weird. But yeah, bro. This is this is weird, bro. I'll be honest. This is kind of weird. But I like it though. I like it. I like it. Bro, you see it, bro. Don't, you don't mess with me when I got the Glock, bro. Don't mess with me when I got the Glock. See that? Corners. Boom. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Let's go through here. Are these kind of scary? The camcorder games are scary, but at the same time, they're kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, very interesting. Locked. Locked. Oh, these freaking doors locked. Like, locked. <coughs> <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? Why, why would you do that to me? Oh my days, bro. The freak? Why are you scaring me for? Check the corners, check the corners, check the corners. Check the corners, check the corners. Oh, bro, this is a big freaking map, you know? Guys, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't necessarily like my situation right now. It's really dark. It's freaking dark everywhere. I'm kind of scared. My eyes are already tearing up. Like I, I'm not doing good. Like these, I'm bro, telling you, the realistic horror games are too realistic and they're too scary. All right, cool. Nothing in there. Let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. So this is um, was it departure? Uh, so this game is only a prototype. Okay, there's some blood. I don't like that. Hello. Oh, what the? F oh. So it's not even real, bro. This game sucks, bro. <laughs> so this other game is only a prototype, right? So which means, oh, flashlight. Which means, what well, I'm assuming, well, this looks so much scarier. What the freak? 
which I'm assuming means that eventually we're gonna get the actual game. If we get the actual game, that is gonna be crazy scary, I'm telling you. Alright, it's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we can get up to. What's that? Oh! Ah! My freaking gosh! What the freak was that? What the freak? Oh, bro, I got so scared I paused the game. What the freak? Wait, there's nowhere else to go. Oh, my game is frozen. Hello? Whoa, bro, this saving with auto save. I see you, bro. Guys, if you if you're still watching this video, please just you know just please leave a like, bro. I, look, look at this. I'm scared. I'm scaring my trousers off. So hold the okay. <clears throat> this way. All right. So we go. Oh, oh, there's two of them. So I'm assuming we get another little little twisty turny thing. We got that one. Alright, cool. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. I don't know how accurate this this Glock is supposed to be or whatever gun this is supposed. To be. Damn, bro! What the freak? God. I'm not. I'm not talking too much because I'm like scared. Like what? We got a gun for a reason, you know. All right. Cool. Keys. Tight. What's that? What's that? Hello, hello. <laughs> what the freak is going on? Oh my days! <laughs> what is going? On? I got you, man. What the freak? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the freak was that, bro? Look, let's not talk about. How I screamed like a little girl. Okay, let's not talk about that. All right, let's just let's just get this let's just get this game over with, bro. I was I had the footsteps and then I had the running and then like oh. Like, so, like, so, oh my gosh, what the freak is this? What the heck? Don't do that again, bro. What the freak? Um, are we safe now? Do you still got the keys? Okay, so, is the keys still there? I don't know. Well, that didn't happen last time. All right, let's calm down. So, what did the game bug out? Was he not supposed to follow me now? Okay, I guess we killed him already then. Okay, thanks game for bugging out. That really helped save me. My throat. Pause. No, big pause on that one. Oh! <laughs> I knew it, bro. Always check the corners, bro. I don't know why the barrels are bugging out like that. This guy's hands is like bugging out as much as mine are right now. Really nervous, okay? I'm sorry, I'm not speaking too much. I'm really nervous. I'm scared. Okay. Hello? Hello? Who's crying? Hello? Oh my days! What the freak? What the freak? Oh my god, blood! Hey, get your gun out! Pow, 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 pow! Yeah, get smoked! There's another one! Say less! Bow, 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 Back up, bow, 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 Oh my gosh! What the freak? It's over! Oh my god. It's over! Okay, okay, calm down. Bro, free man! Seriously! Get smoked, you! Get smoked! Oh my gosh, I thought I was a gunner. My heart, blur, bro. My heart, my heart, my heart. All right, this is open now. What the freak? Yeah, I'm not scared of you no more. I'm not scared of you no more. Um. <laughs> what the freak? Hello? What the freak? What, wait, what? What's going on? But he's doing that Michael Jackson thriller. Oh my days. What the freak? <laughs> oh. Okay. The end. And as we finish the third game, I'm here to do one last voiceover. But yeah, thank you for watching everyone. That's all three scary games done. I just hit my mic. <laughs>
uh, all three scary games will be in the description please go support the creators you know they work really hard to do it and all really great games all three of them even the first one wasn't so scary it was great don't get me wrong it was great second one really good as well scared the heck out of me and this third one i'll be honest made me feel for my life i'll be honest made me feel for my life so thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed playing a scary game you know it's been a minute since i played a scary game so you know i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did recording and editing it so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye oh,